Hello, and welcome back to my Union of Soviet Socialist Republics Let's Plays. Uh, we're currently working on trying to get military intervention in Kazakhstan, and then military intervention in S. Noa Polska. We go with that's how it's pronounced. Uh, should be pretty easy. Uh, they have no troops. Maybe we'll lose some stuff to a trip. Unfortunate, but, you know, what you gonna do? Now we can chase the sun, although it will be a long time before we have any operation who co opens up successfully, but the infrastructure and stage ensure that we eventually will. Laboratories and research facilities are constructed and secured. Our educational institutes are turning out scientists with necessary skills. Our agencies have secured the domestic and foreign sources of facility material. All that is left is time. When that day comes, we will complete our first nuclear test. We can take pride both in our accomplishments and our knowledge that Russia will at long last be free of outside interference. All right. Yeah, we're not getting, like, any influence. That sucks. Alright, one more day. So they're going to declare war on them. Okay, better industrial expertise, I'll take it. Yeah, that's right. Take that out. Okay, and... Thirty eight days. Anti tank done being researched. Chase the sun. Alright, now I can do this. We probably want to rush new talented officers while we have a chance. So on the right track. Soviet Union is well on track as restoration. Almost half of the motherland has been taken back from fascists and pretenders or the warlords. However, now that the secure power base has been established in Central Russia, the process of warring for sake of temporary pre comrade. And if it understands that if the state is expanded to Russia, Russia will need a strong industrial sector, will organize military and political system free of internal threats. Thus, all three must be accomplished. Engineers and nurses will be in the rapid construction of new heavy industry sector that will provide tanks, rifles, artillery pieces that will be deemed for the expansion. The military will be expanded uh, to retrain and railway noise following the grueling campaigns to unite Western Siberia. Finally, certain political elements will be removed to prevent the rise of internal threats from in continents getting hand. While these goals may seem difficult to achieve, they're necessary if the Soviet Union needs to ever be restored. Very cool. Um, yeah, we're just going to need more divisions. Okay, we're just going to make 15 of these super cheap ones to help... Uh, to make the line a little bit more secure. Okay, engineer. It didn't really increase manpower requirements, but it made them stronger, so that works. Everything that is good, so we're just going to go there. No such thing as propaganda. The liberal systems will call propaganda or deception from comrade cabinet calls necessary. They can be compared to a stained glass window, and even all days before the Soviet Union dissolved, the Communist Party and the state served as a freedom of work that held the window together. 
Another window is broken into a thousand different pieces of a thousand colors and different ideologies. The only way to put the pieces of the window back together is through the media and political indoctrination of the public. This we achieve mass propaganda indoctrination, the much higher grip will have to be placed over Siberia as a whole. The mass media will be greatly expanded and a new centralized school curricular will have to be enforced. In addition, the KVD will likely have to be deployed to many town villages across the region, only to scare the locals into submission. More decisions available. Okay, we'll take the more main power. That is definitely something we want. Very nice. Twelve more days. Is there anything here where we... Ooh, losing that recruitable population does not seem nice. Okay, next thing. Let's go with this. Only truth. Karl Mad kind of much is a stern man, but a liar he is not. He certainly has twisted the truth a little bit in the past, but his alternative facts to a situation he would never like the people of Russia. Some things simply don't need to be known by the public at large. These secrets just have to foreign lies that might come out in a bad light simply would not be shown or discussed to the people. When closed doors, we must put that the fear of the community, most of those expose the foreign lies of a good opinion of our beloved leader. Yeah, our stability has taken massive hits. Um, it's fine now. Just grab a bunch of land. There we go. Okay, as far as I know, that worked. Okay. Okay, let's see, missing some cats, I guess. Okay. Better than nothing. Yay! There they go. Advanced planning. Only truth, and only what they need to know. No one can be trusted. The most primal society can develop a vicious political manipulations, out your existence, and other enemies of the state. Every worker, every soldier, every mother, every NKVD agent, every single individual is a pair of lies and ears could be used against the state. The Kremlin cabinet's vision for restored civil union are to be accomplished. The eyes of the people must be closed and their ears be covered. All information except what they need to know. Bureaucracy shall be greatly expanded to the point that access to information is virtually impossible. Army officers and party officials shall only be given the minimum amount of information to achieve their task. Any person who knows the true extent of the Soviet Union should be coming count. Very few select individuals and information shall be the enemy of the people and the ally of the state. Very cool. Let's see, how many divisions are you guys at, anyways? 40 to 60, we have 51. Alright, good job left unfinished. Despite all the work Comrade Kamenich has put into the internal security of the state, some individuals simply cannot be convinced of any of their virtual ideologies. The people have already been exposed to the dangerous source of belief and must be silenced. I'm in the thousands to make up significant portions of the political bureaucracy so they will turn even the secret place. They all disparate enemies of the revolution have be part of something that should have been done a long time ago. Committee agents who are going to be loyal will seek out individuals who shouldn't impede their concerns or in the past. The men will be interrogated, put on show trial, executed, sent to a war in Siberia and labor camp. For too long they have gone unchecked in Soviet society. Perhaps our leader will let a lot of time has expired. 
Okay. This should be done before uh, before we get the uh, the war here with these guys. Okay, yeah, um... Job left unfinished. Okay, this should... Ooh, maybe this won't get done. Okay. Not great the second five year plan and you leave everything to join Sevilla or to say that at least four. Very few roads are paved or maintained. There's very little access to electricity, running water, and most of the people live off substance farming in small villages. This time it's come to introduce the party and people to approve approve a vast modernized effort to begin a goal class of to emphasize the people. Well, I'll complete that's my space. Modernize the people to a second year five for after it approved the vast of what began all cost doing this to build up the region. Factors to produce tanks, weapons, mission to become a norm. Given the right army the ability to fight wars for against far larger, better armed forces, the old union fell because of the failure of bringing up behind to build up a modern military industry. But recognize the need for Russia to organize as quickly as heavily as possible. Both he and the Russian people paid for it and but Current time much understands his enemies, his people, and the lessons he can learn from the past. Will not make the same mistake as his predecessor. Very nice, and since we're recruiting stuff here, we want like eight more of these. Get a full set. And at this point, we can actually make more of you guys too. So if we have 13, is 13 possible here? Yes. House construction going. Theoretically, if I want to create all this rubber, I would lose six factories. Okay, that's fine. We're all getting 15 more of these. There we go. We'll go for a full army of uh, those really. I'll get to second five year plan. Let's go for another research slot. So a hammer in every hand. Every man, young, old, sick, wants to serve signing somebody. Individuals know that you want his utility to the state where there's an instrument of war or production. If Russia ever unite under the banner of the restored union, she'll need every able worker and soldier that she can. All the new national plan can off the newly constructed factories will need workers. So this build upon which all socialism is built. These workers will be, for lack of a better word, conscripted. Mostly from swagger cultural villages, every hand not holding a rifle or a child be given a hammer to further the goals of a Soviet social after all idle hands or hit lights play things. Let's see. Okay, we can do this again, but like I'm not sure I want to. do that once just because but like I don't think it's really worth it so this reputable population factor we'll see how bad this hits me are you guys still coring stuff no you are not okay. let's get the extra oil just because Nope, okay. Metro 2, mankind is facing an existential threat unlike any has encountered in its brief existence planet. Total nuclear annihilation. Dread it, run from it, and may very well still arrive. 
if it does, mankind is likely to face total extinction. Due from the flames of him war's ambition and rapidly escalating conflict between the world's greatest power, this is a simple mistake. The chance of nuclear war is far too hard to ignore. This common coming to laid up plan for the preservation of the Russian people and Soviet socialism, which may survive whatever causes the main the man brings down upon itself. This plan, dubbed Metro 2, consists of a large network of tunnels and housing built beneath the human. The basic which is functionally basically an underground city capable of housing around 10,000 individuals. They have to be built on top of the water table so of access to clean fresh water. In addition to the geothermal and hydraulic generators, food stores, and even growing on some small scale agriculture, it would also have a large research section for which the state can perform its large and most secret science experiments. After water is to set on fire, Metro 2 might be the safest place to wait for the ashes to cool. I mean, it hit, but maybe you can't use over 100%, and that's why it didn't do anything. Hmm. I don't know. Now that, now that we're here... No, sorry, I have V Recon Engineers. Yeah, that works. Okay, and then we have like a Super defensive uh, one. Not super defensive, but winter specialist. Oh, wait, no, you're already assigned. Okay. Um. There we go. And improved anti tank equipment. Let's go anti. Metro 2 is done. So we get Project King. The closest availability information network is a project image of my common carnage and the heavily inspired Willis Classic Metro 2 project. In it, every major city across Western Sevilla should be run with large underground bunker networks. We need to provide shelter. Those are in the core. These bunkers will be largely comprised of labs filled in brim with enterprising scientists. They'd provide an ideal place to conduct our most secret and ordained experiments, probably from the prying eyes of people or foreign spies. Let me call the trials done here. Unethical is a little ethical about not persuading anybody to be able to benefit of socialism and the Russian people. All right. Oh, wow, this guy actually has 30. So. Uh, we'll wait till everyone deploys and we uh we see how it all goes. Oh, wait, this guy is my tank. Looking back on it. We only need eight of you. Wait, no, we need... Yeah, we need eight of you. And we need a bunch of you. Better production of IFVs, okay. Okay, well, I guess it is time to use these then. All right. 
So, uh... Dang, that was dumb. No, because I lose all of it. Okay. In Stalin's way. The late Conrad Stalin was a great friend and mentor of very uncommon covenants. His political and social philosophy has guided and protected both candidates and the state many times. In fact, Conrad was openly amidst asking, him, asking himself what Conrad Stalin would do when presented with a complex situation. I understand why giving him such a bright future and fully embraced all in his ideologies as the official position of the state, he so would not only honor the man's memory, but likely guide us into a brighter future. Alright, with that done, we'll go ahead and work on this. It's nice. Ooh, we're running out of time. That is a problem. Yeah, um, it's okay, we get a bunch of civilian factories here, which we'll probably just immediately lose again to consumer goods. Well, at this point, our economy... Did that help? A little. Hmm. I guess the invasion of the Hitlers and the cosmic collapse of the Soviet Union was a great tragedy, only for the cost of lives, but the damage done to future of the Russian people. Many across the shattered realm of the motherland cannot read or write, and not only had to uh, till soil and plant crops. Such was the way for many centuries, but this is not the way one of Today is the age of machines and factories and steel, and so Russia must be dragged, kicking and screaming, into the being industrialized society. Many of the newly constructed factory workers must be trained by another person rather than being able to read and understand the simple directions. To solve these issues, pressing down on the industrial sector, common commons has devised a plan for factory schooling, and most major factories and industrial plants across the country will be classrooms in which the largely literate workforce may learn to read and write. While it certainly does not provide them with the true education it has received elsewhere in the world, it will be more than sufficient. Oh, A, we got production again. Let's go. Cold days. Okay. Land forts. Land forts. Off. Military factories, manpower, air base, whoa, okay, and then, yeah, the problem is we have this. Yay. When will you be done? February. Oh my god. Okay. Victory Institutes. Okay. Commissary of the Civil Defense. An army by itself is not enough. While it indeed helpful to have a million men on standby in the end of war, those men are not used if given no opens to fight. Or if they are simply amassed toward all armies of organization logistics, something in very short supply in the Siberian ways. Commissary is not as essential as ever growing power of the state. It's organized a new government organization, the Commissary of Civil Defense. This new organization will oversee all the functions regarding. The preparation of war, organize and equip units of men, ensure factories production is adequate, and meet demand, and prepare propaganda for any eventual war that may or may not erupt. What is a changing place and the safety of the state? People must be of most important priority. All right. Next thing is that infantry anti-air support. Work. I mean, we look not too bad. I'm not going to lie. My light tanks are taking massive L's. Um,
Ooh, this guy uses rubber. That's why our production is so bad. Okay, that's not too bad. Breaking some eggs. Who's some man power gains visibility? Okay. Kazakhan says one must break some eggs in order to make an element. Just as one must occasionally break down the political opposition to get something done. Eternal political situation is simply to look at the moment for common kind of liking. There's too many threats to his power. We traitors against the revolution. These men must are not only a danger to the people in the state, but some of certain failings of the state in the past. Many traitors and public and original must be dealt with swiftly and as with the laws as possible. Rounded up just as they're getting in the military were Short months ago, and either carted off to labor can severe or rights to get all some concerts may lose some valuable assets have been pales in the last comparison should they gain from the removal. Alright, and yes, these guys are done in time. Okay. Getting some eggs, okay. With you, and... I guess we can go... We don't really want any type of production that would hurt us. Alright, long arm of the NKVD. NKVD is the most useful tool to state security that common and the revolution could hope for. While certainly this organization at the moment, it must be expanded to a larger as the state grows. More citizens are preview and more science and capability must be placed in them, and short the NKVD must be grown. It must have eyes and ears in every corner, every alley, every main room, and every production line. No one will be able to keep a secret with anyone but themselves, and thus no conspiracies could be possible. This new KVD will strike fear into the hearts of the men. I fear that is quite literally unspeakable. All know that they are watching, but none know from where. All know that they are listening, so dare not speak their name. They shall hold every transition against the revolution accountable. With no stone unturned, and no man unpushed them. Prepare for the unification war. That's the grand showdown. Okay, they're probably ramping up some troops. 83, 26 to 72. I mean, we have a lot of free manpower, but we'll probably burn through it in the war, so we'll hold. No need to get greedy. Okay, and literally nothing can be done until that national focus is uh, set up. Uh, the thing is done. Okay. Um. Hopefully, this gets done before. Part of me really just wants to rush them, but, uh, not a good idea. Also don't know how far I'll have to push them back. They changed their capital? Wait, no, that is their capital. Never mind. Your kids isn't their capital. I'm dumb. And on the, uh, edge of war with military uh breakdown just ending we want to get ready for new talented officers i want to read this real quick but then we're going to end the episode uh the great purge not been called is finally over the last noon enemies of the state have been carted off so yeah 
put into the ground. However, the purge destroyed any significant portion of our officer corps. Thousands of military units, mostly at the platoon level, like leadership without officers, delayed them. But once young material dissolve into madness and pretty at the first set of combat to fit the issue, force force will be trained from existing veterans who are experienced and battle heartened, but simply like the education of modern tactics and combined armed operations are necessary for the making of an effective officer. It will take some time, but these men can be trained and educated to an extreme combat leaders. Extremely effective combat leaders. All right, and with that, uh, the episode is over. Uh, this is definitely going to be the final showdown to unite most of Russia. I'm looking at someone here on uh, who uh, is preventing us from, but they are in a uh, an alliance with uh, the great enemy. We'll call them. Uh, but with that, that is the end of this episode. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next.